Should you post your fees? There isn't a right or wrong answer to this, but there is still a lot to think about. I'm Rachel from the Therapy Note Success Team, and today we're going to discuss whether you should list your fees on your practice website, as shared with us by licensed clinical social worker and owner of Abundance Practice Building, Allison Perrier. If you find this video helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button to see more videos from Therapy Notes. Some providers prefer having the chance to connect with a client over the phone to show their value before the client considers how much their services cost. Connecting with a client before they know your costs will also help you weed out the bargain shoppers, who are unlikely to call you without first knowing your fees. You may get some calls from clients who assume you take insurance, so if you don't list your fees, it's best to at least be explicit on your website about what insurances you do and don't accept. This model is prevalent in coaching and consulting, and works well for those who excel at communicating their value. If you feel awkward about your fee, not posting it is going to make it even more uncomfortable when you tell it to a client in person. If you're worried about it, you should list your fees on your website to provide more context for potential clients who may expect a lower number. In contrast, some providers feel that you should be confident in the services you provide and you shouldn't have to convince your clients to work with you. Many clients have no frame of reference for what out-of-pocket therapy costs. Some expect more, some expect less. Listing your fees on your website gives prospective clients the opportunity to search for alternatives or to inquire about a different price. Most of our ideal clients want therapy and are willing to invest their time, energy, and money. Some people can't afford your fees but won't make the investment, while others simply can't afford you. That's where sliding scale fees can be helpful should you choose to implement them. For these types of people, it's best not to waste their time or yours with a phone call. Overall, you need to consider who your ideal client is and which route is most appropriate and beneficial for both of you. Whatever you choose, the important thing is to be clear and honest with whatever information you choose to disclose on your website. Do you have any additional tips from your experience? Let us know in the comments. We hope you found this video helpful. To keep up with our latest content and videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching.